Good day everyone. Alright, so in this video I want to talk about um, the kinematics questions found in the um, 1920 PSPM SP015 paper. Alright, so let us look at the question. Alright, the first question goes, a boat with an initial speed of 30 meters per second decelerates at 3.5 meters per second per second for 4.5 seconds before reaching a buoy, right? Calculate the speed of the boat at the buoy. So this is fairly direct. I'm just going to draw fairly quickly um, just to illustrate the situation. I have a boat, right? I have a boat. Um, here's a buoy. Okay, so just here's a buoy. It's initially moving at... 30 meters per second and then um, it decelerates so that means my a is equals to negative 3.5 meters per second per second i have a time of 4.5 seconds my initial velocity is 30 meters per second all right and i want to know what is the velocity when the boat reaches the buoy Okay, so um, fairly direct, we can directly use uh, V equals to U A T, U plus A T, to find out the value for V, the magnitude of V, alright? So again, U is just um, 30, and then we have um, negative 3.5 as the acceleration, and given the time, 4.5 seconds right um just to check the units are in uh, are consistent i have 30 meters per second i have 3.5 meters per second per second and then i have 4.5 seconds so they're all in meters and in seconds right so my velocity my velocity when it reaches the buoy is simply going to be 14.25 meters per second All right so that is our uh, well, that is the speed of the boat as it reaches the buoy or when it reaches the buoy okay so fairly simple the second question not so simple but still can um, get a hang of it All right okay so let's look at the question given so the figure shows a stream of water hitting a wall at a height of eight meters with a velocity of 40 meters per second at an angle of 35 degrees below the horizontal determine the initial velocity of the water as it leaves the nozzle <clears throat> okay so um one of the first few things, because we know that this is going to be a projectile motion question, one of the first few things we should do is just to remind ourselves that the acceleration in the x-axis is zero, and therefore our final velocity in the x-direction is e always equals to our initial velocity in the x-direction. That's just um, number one right number two we also have acceleration in the y direction and that is simply going to be negative 9.81 um, negative here because it's pointing downwards right uh, gravity points downwards in this particular case okay and of course we can relate the final velocity and the initial velocity with some equation and the equation that we want here because they're giving us right here they're giving us as y we can use we can remind ourselves of v y square equals to u y square plus two a y s y okay all right so um just to gather information from the question right um it's telling us that the stream of water hits the wall at a velocity of 40 meters per second. You can see it's moved, uh, it's pointing downwards in the positive x, negative y direction, right? So if I just take um, positive x and positive y, it's going to be in the uh, positive x, negative y. I'll just draw it out, right? So this is going to be v, right? And then I'll have x 
and y. I can quickly determine, right, just from this diagram, right, so this is 35, this is going to be 40. I can determine, uh, I can calculate the components of V, right? I can, I can calculate what's Vx, for example. So Vx is simply going to be V cos 35, right? And I can, of course, substitute the values there. 40 cos 35 to find Vx. So um, Vx is going to be approximately 32.766 meters per second. Right? So that's my Vx. I can also calculate Vy. Right? Uh, my Vy is going to be V sine 35 degrees. Okay. Again, I can substitute those values. 40 sine 35 and that tells me that my vy is equal to let me just have a, a quick check my vy is going to be forty sine 35 that leaves me 22 0.943 meters per second okay all right so now now that we have our vx and vy we want to know what is ux and uy okay so um it's fairly direct for in the x component because we have ux equals to vx so I know that ux is simply going to be um, 32.766 meters per second. Okay. So I'm just going to um, take that information, all right, uh, just fairly quickly and write it down on the next page, right? I know that my ux is going to be, let's check again, 32.766. 32.766 meters per second and I have my UI sorry my VY is 22.943 meters per second again we can use um, V square equals to U square plus 2AS right to determine ui so again i'll just rearrange this u square equals to v square minus 2 a s these are all in y components yeah okay i'll take a square root of both sides okay i'll take a square root of both sides so here v y square minus 2 um yeah minus 2 a s again s y and a y right i'll square root that and i can start substituting the values so again um, v y is simply 22.943 right so that's i'll just square that minus 2 then negative 9.81 then we we'll substitute s y with the 8 that we have here because which is the height so our sy is going to be 8, right? And I'll just square root that. What I will find is that my ui is going to be 26.141 meters per second. All right. So I have my ui. And I'll ha I have my ux. I can relate them using Pythagoras theorem. So again, here you have u equals to, so sorry, u square equals to u y square plus u x square. Okay. Um, I'll just take the square root of both sides. u equals to ui. So ui is twenty six point one four one squared plus 32.766 squared 
and square root of that. What I will find is that my u is 41.916 meters per second. So I'll have the initial velocity of the water as it leaves the nozzle to be 41.916 meters per second. Now, I want to remind you that velocity is not a scalar quantity, but a vector quantity. If it's a vector quantity, it's also very important for us to know the angle, right, or the direction that the stream of water is moving at, right? So it's very important for us to know the angle in which this initial velocity takes place. Um, it's very easy. You can just take a tangent or the inverse tangent, sorry, the inverse tangent of ui over ux again let me just expand this or substitute the values tangent inverse tangent ui 26.141 over 32.766 right and i'll have an answer of approximately 38.5 8 degrees right so the initial velocity of the water as it leaves the nozzle is 41.916 meters per second at an angle of 38.58 i can illustrate this right if i just draw out okay so here's my y axis y and here's my x axis so x um, I'll just draw a vector of u equals to 41.916 and I'll just draw here an angle of 38.58 degrees. Okay, so that's the initial velocity of the water, right? Okay, so that is all from me in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more physics content.